we look at preparing for a job interview what to do before a job interview we've looked at the job search skills we looked at uh, the five of those how you can use internet sources how you can actually knock at the door how you can actually use employment agency now the interview you've been called for the job you've got a job preparing for an interview might seem intimidating but there are several steps you can take to prepare yourself for a successful interview preparation is everything even in life they say if you do not plan you plan to fail but if you plan then there is a high likelihood that you succeed most of us tend to just take our certificates and rush to the job but preparation preparation is key and here in this lecture we examine what steps to take before during and after a job interview so how to master a job interview before during and after i've given you a summary before you do the research use the company website prepare your personal pitch do a drive-by to see about the company during there's about handshakes and keep the answers short then after you must write a thank you note look at this internalize it and start thinking when you think about something when you picture it when you have a vision of it you become more prepared most of our failures in life is because we don't picture it we don't uh, take time to actually think of the process so we're going to be losing those job interviews or we are going to actually not make an impression because we just go in there thinking well it's just any other talk no this is not talk it's communicating communicating is the art of persuasion <laughs> I want you to remember that communication is the art of persuasion and that's what an interview is all about. You are out there to persuade, to sell yourself. So how do you prepare for an interview? Preparing for an interview primarily, primarily means taking time to thoughtfully consider your goals and qualifications. I've talked about that. Who am I? What am I qualified? What are my strengths? What are my weaknesses? How is, does this relate to the position and the employer, right? To accomplish this, should perform a research on the company. I talked about courtship. Get to know the company inside out. Every day keep checking on it. Keep uh, seeing what answers or questions you might want to ask. What are the, some of the questions they can ask you? That's, that's, that's what it's all about. Courtship. Remember courtship? I told you if you want to know your future husband or your future wife, you really want to know more about her. What does she eat? What does she like? How did she grow up and you know you're interested get interested in the job all right here are the steps of preparing for the job we're going to look at about seven one carefully examine the job description so during your preparation work you should use the employer's posted job description as the guide what are they asking what are they looking for exactly and how do i meet that so don't gloss over it examine and break it down we are looking for this kind of person with this kind of qualifications to do this kind of things in this particular company which does this particular job or produces these products. The job description is a list of the qualifications, qualities and background the employer is looking for in an ideal candidate. So the more you can align yourself with these details, you look at do I fit? Are they, are they really asking for me? Is it me that they want? Do I have all this? You need to actually check that and that's a process. It's a process. The job description may also give you ideas about questions the employer may ask throughout the interview. Research the role. It's important to read the job description carefully and make sure you understand all the requirements and responsibilities that go along with the role. Is What role will you be playing in everyday situation? If you are in that job, what is your role? Most of the times we perform poorly or we get bored in a job because we really don't know our roles or we really didn't study them, all right? This will also will, will not only prepare you with thoughtful targeted questions about the position during the interview, but it will ensure that you, truly, you are truly qualified and prepared to tackle the response, okay? So the more you know the responsibilities. Most of us get into jobs and we really don't know the responsibility. We sit there, we keep gossiping, we keep just not knowing what are our performance criteria? It's important to know the roles, and that's what you want to do before you get to that interview. Remember, we're still on one, just examining the position. So one C, okay, we have about seven other. 
So you can examine, examine similar position, if possible, research similar position and read reviews from individuals in those positions so you can get an idea of what the day-to-day -day activities will be. So you can see it's a process, it's a lot of work to do. If you want to be prepared, if you want to really S that uh, interview, you want to pass that interview with high colors, look at a job that is more or less similar to what you're applying for, look at what they do so that you're prepared to actually ask the questions and even know what the job really inter really entails okay during the interview ask for clarifications or details about the role you can be sure you are ready should you receive a job all right researching the role before an interview will also help you decide whether or not the position is right for you two consider why you are interviewing and your qualification look at your papers look at the documents you have, the testimonials. So you should have a good understanding of why you want the job and why you are qualified. You should be prepared to explain your interest in the opportunity and why you are the best person for the role. That calls for communication. You really need to be well fast with articulation of good sentences, explaining yourself. Communication is not talk. Communication is a skill that you need to start practicing. I know most of us can hardly make a sentence or can actually put an idea and articulate in a paragraph start practicing now that's why you're in this class practice your communication practice your communication as you can see the interview process it's not easy if you have no communication skills it's going to be a problem number three perform research on the company and the role researching the company you're applying to is an important part of the preparing for an interview what's their culture what, do, what product do they produce, okay? Not only will it help provide context for your interview conversation, but it will also help you when preparing thoughtful questions for your interviewers, all right? So under the research, what do you do? What do you do? Perform research on the company. Remember, that is B. So one of the things that you want to do, researching the company and role as much as possible will give you an edge over the competition, right? Because you can be able to actually field good questions that you can also answer the questions much more because you know about the the company inside out so the aspect is in this 21st century is can you make an impression how good are you how uh, you have the same group of people same qualification what makes you unique usp unique selling point usp what's your unique selling point now not only that but fully preparing for an interview will help you remain calm so that you can be at your best. There are many people are shaking and uh, breaking sometimes when they are waiting. But if you know, I know this company, I know what they do, I've really studied. You get a lot of confidence from that. Here are a few things you should know before you walk into your interview, all right? And uh, number three, remember? We're still under number three on research. Research the company culture, all right? Modern companies usually have social media accounts and blogs that discuss their company culture and industry. All right? Companies have a life of their own. They have a certain culture, how they operate, their dressing, how they they actually address each other. There are companies where you get into a t-shirt, go to work in a t-shirt, you can even go into a job. You don't have to call people their titles like doctor or professor or mister. You just say, hey, Lenny, hey, John. Yeah, so those are cultures. They are very free with each other. You don't have to book an appointment to see the boss. You can see the boss all of any time. Not any time, but it's easy. He's uh, free, free. There is what we call open door policy. Then there are companies where the protocol, the bureaucracy, like in the government, if you want to see the PS, first you have to see the clerk. Then the clerk makes appointment with the personal assistant. The personal assistant makes an appointment with the secretary. The secretary makes appointment with the... Uh, uh, permanent secretary and the permanent secretary have to accept then it goes back again through the chain takes you about six months to see and do you see why the the government is all the time broke why they are slow you want a company where the culture is such that open communication all right anyway i digress no matter how good a job seems it's important that you fit within the company culture and share a similar personality or similar personality and values very important do you want to actually be part of the group? Maybe that group parties a lot. Are you a person who parties? Maybe that group is a, a Christian-based uh, organization. How is your faith? Would you want to join such a group? All right. Research the company culture. We still continue. If you have questions about the workplace environment,
you right this question can range from software and tools used by the company to their policies on vacation and sick time all right be confident that that comes from preparation you can't have a question if you have not researched the company most candidates go into an interview just expecting to be asked questions they hardly know about the company they are actually like just getting in there get over the process no be part of the communicant be confident enough even to engage in a dialogue that's how they really get to know you more field some questions all right that's why we are saying you can ask questions about the workplace environment don't go too intimidated and their preparation still remember that the interview is just as much about you finding a good fit for your own work environment as it is about the company finding a good fit so it's an interaction both of you are trying to actually see how you can fit imagine like magnets trying to actually get or a jigsaw puzzle you're trying to find the right fit all right maybe the magnet repelling is not a good example but a jigsaw puzzle you're trying to find what really fits and the more you interact with them the better don't be there just to be asked questions and you are asked so any questions you're actually even saying no they don't know they, they're not gonna know you so be ready to act, interact to find that good fit knowing your values knowing that your values align with the company ensures a happy professional life this is also the perfect opportunity to find out more about the company and show the interviewers you'll fit within their company culture research the product or service even if the role isn't directly related to the company's product or service you're still looking to be part of the team what do they produce all right what are their services is it a hotel industry do they produce do they produce uh, juice do they produce uh, mercury what do you you don't necessarily need to understand each and every detail especially if it's a technical product okay and you're interviewing for a non-technical position but you should have a basic understanding because they are manufacturing iron sheets and you're going to be maybe part of the human resource it's important you also know what really gets involved in manufacturing an iron sheet if possible request request a sample of the product to familiarize yourself with the customer's perspective the more you can tell them about the product from both a company and customer standpoint the better you'll perform in your interview consider your answers to common interview questions that's number four now we have already done with number three researching about the company now number four of, of the list that we are going in terms of preparation for the interviewer so when you're considering uh, answers to common interview questions while well, you won't be able to predict every question you'll be asked in an interview there are a few common questions you can plan answers for uh, you know the first one is tell us more about yourself another one is what are your strengths what are your weaknesses okay you might also consider developing an elevator pitch you see the elevator the lift that means we talked about that before you can give an answer within the time an elevator gets from the first floor maybe to the third all right that quickly describes who you are what you do and what you want you have to start doing that right now okay you have to have that elevator pitch it does not come naturally you have to be practicing that one and i'm telling you start practicing it's a one uh, minute or even 30 seconds okay who you are and what you are all about all right consider your answers to common interview questions we're still on number four there are some jobs that may involve a test or evaluation during the interview process what are these jobs for example if you're interviewing for a computer programming development or analytic role you might also be asked to write or evaluate lines of code all right so that's a, a technical job it might be helpful to consult with colleagues in the industry for examples of tests they've been given to prepare i don't know about geoinformatics could it be the same check find out you should be also prepared to discuss your salary expectations just in case how do you know that information you can get on the net about some of those uh, salaries and how much you expect to be paid here are a few examples of common interview questions all right one what do you want why do you want to work here here the best way to prepare for this question is to learn about the products 
services mission history culture of the company in your answer mention the aspects of the company that appeal to you and align with your career i've even got an example here i'd love the opportunity to work with a company that's making a difference finding a company with a positive work environment and values that align with my own has remained a priority throughout my job search and this company ranks at the top of the list see what we're talking about another question what interests you about this role employers ask this question to make sure you understand the role right and to give you the opportunity to highlight your relevant skills okay it can be helpful to compare the role requirement against your skills here's an example if they ask you this question all right i've been passionate about user experience design for most of my professional career i was excited to see this company uses adobe products because i'm well versed in the entire suit also i'm a huge advocate for applying agile workflows to design you're really selling yourself you're really actually talking about what are your qualifications what are some of your skills i think it's the most effective way to tackle large projects you're even actually suggesting that uh, you really know about way forward and how to go i was able to successfully build and launch an agile process in my previous role as ux manager and we saw considerable improvements in project speed I guess you get the point. Where, what are your greatest strengths? This question gives you an opportunity to talk about both your technical and soft skills. When an interviewer asks you to describe your strength, share qualities and personal attributes, and then relate them back to the role which you are interviewing. So don't say I'm a bodybuilder. I lift a lot of uh, things out there, and your job does not necessarily have anything to do with lifting. So relate it to the job. Example. I'm a natural problem solver. See what I'm talking about? I'm a natural problem solver. Your work is actually a place where you're actually out to solve problems. In this world, we are out to solve problems. That's why we were born. There is a problem that is meant for you that you're supposed to solve. Okay? So that's a good line. I'm a natural problem solver. I find it rewarding to dig deep and uncover solutions to challenges. It's like solving a puzzle. It's something I've always excelled at and something I enjoy. Much of product development is about finding innovative solutions to challenging issues, which is what drew me to this career path in the first place. I mean, if you have such kind of answers in your job interview, straight away you are on the 80-90% percentile because hardly do interviewees uh, produce such kind of answers. Why? because they are not prepared but you have this advantage you have this class start now practice your speaking voice and body language is number five remember practice makes perfect communication i said it's a skill it's not a natural ability it's important to make a positive and lasting impression during the interview process you can do this by practicing a confident strong speaking voice and friendly open body language as I said, communication is a skill that requires practice. Just like athletic ability, you need to start practicing your communication. Communication is not the same as talk. Communication is the art of persuasion. So while this might come naturally to you, you might also want to spend time performing them with the trusted friends or family or in front of a mirror. For what? Diagnostic feedback. You might think you are good, but really you are talking to yourself. You might actually be... Uh, one who speaks with a monotone voice. You might actually be one who does not pronounce words very well. So you need somebody to give you feedback. Do not be afraid to get feedback. Pay special attention to your smile, handshake, and stride. Number six, prepare several thoughtful questions for the interviewer. Most employers feel confident about candidates who ask thoughtful questions about the company and position. Remember, you are selling yourself. They want to see how confident are you? And as I was rightly pointing out, most interviewees don't like to ask questions. In fact, they want the interview to be over with, they leave. No, that's not making a good impression. You should take time before the interview to, pre to prepare several questions for your interviewers. That shows you've researched the company and are well versed about the position. What are some of examples of questions you could ask 
okay what does a typical day look like for a person in this position number two why do you enjoy working here what qualities do your most successful employees have i've really enjoyed learning more about this opportunity what are the next steps in the hiring process conduct mock interviews this is one why we've given you an assignment you need to do this even by the time you send me that video which is due now in the next three weeks you need to actually practice and practice you just don't do one run and send the video that will give you more confidence it will help you to know where am i not going right so conduct mock interviews just like public speaking practicing interviews is the best way to relieve anxiety and prove your confidence there is nothing as uh, confidence building as just knowing i've practiced this i'm good interview rooms can be very intimidating you have maybe 10 people that is 20 eyes looking at you they're expecting you to actually be answering their questions they'll be firing left and right some are there to actually see how confident you can be so practice will help you build that confidence saying hey bring it on i've practiced but if you get there without ever doing any interview or mock interview then the likelihood of you blundering the likelihood of you shaking a lot the black likelihood of public speaking anxiety to be debilitating very high okay practice may feel tedious but repeatedly experiencing the interview process will make you more comfortable and help you give the right impression all right so practice makes perfect take the conducting of mock interviews very important take the exercise i've given you very important try to give your best let it be part of the practice run that we are talking about if you have friends or family to help conduct mock interview as much as you can if you don't have any other person practice your questions and answers out loud you can also record yourself on your phone now we have gadgets that record ourselves you may find that an answer sounds awkward or doesn't convey what you wish when it's spoken so this gives you an opportunity to refine your answers and commit them to memory okay the more you repeat your interview the more confident you'll be during the real thing eight print hard copies of your resume or cv most employers ask for digital copies of your resume with the application but they may not have easy access to it during the interviews all right itself so having copies to present to multiple interviewers shows that you are prepared and organized you should have at least three copies to provide for multiple interviewers plus one for yourself to follow along during your preparation read over your resume and rehearse explanation for any gaps that may appear or other oddities for example you may have taken time off to work taken time off work to care for a child or family member switched careers or had other legitimate reasons for employment gaps this can be a concern for employers so it's best to prepare your explanation to show that you are not a risk all right that you don't just leave and be out there there's a legitimate reason you may also encounter questions about your resume that are awkward it's important to be honest but diplomatic in addressing them what are the examples there you may have left a job because of your supervisor or manager or policies that you didn't agree with but you don't want to speak negatively about a former employer so you see that that's communication right there consider these possible questions and prepare your answers in advance so you don't accidentally say something you'll regret like the rest of the interview it's best to prepare for these questions by writing notes and rehearsing your answers out loud multiple times prior to the interview and remember interviews now are becoming more complicated you might have over the phone you might have it over uh, um, zoom so you you need to be even more prepared because you are actually not seeing the people straight away you there's a aspect of immediate feedback you need to be really prepared preparation is key preparation is key really prepare your travel arrangements job interviews tend to be stressful for most people for many reasons but getting to the interview can be a challenge in itself if your interview is in a familiar area or even an entirely new city it can be a source of anxiety to find your way around and make sure that you show up on time to avoid becoming too anxious for your commute 
prepare yourself to ensure everything goes smoothly on the day of the meeting. If it's in Nairobi, it can be very complicated. So think about that. Or if you're going outside, maybe Kampala, you've never been there, go two days earlier so that you familiarize yourself with the town. Here is how, live early. This may seem obvious, but it's better to live with plenty of time to get to your interview, even if it means arriving way too early. Even if you leave yourself a few extra minutes to get there, small obstacle can be enough to make you late, such as heavy traffic, accidents, no parking or trouble finding the, trouble finding the building. If you arrive too early, just use the time to go over your notes and mentally prepare for your interview. There is a saying that the early bird catches the worm. Just go early. It just helps you in terms of being calm, being collected, being prepared. Save the interview contact information. Even with plenty of time for your commute, sometimes situation out of your control can still cause you to be late. If something happens, you know you'll be a little late, call your interview coordinator. Make sure that they are aware of the street. Don't keep quiet. Most people are empath empathetic to this situation and understand that some things just can't be helped. Especially if you are letting them know in advance and have a reasonable explanation. There's communication etiquette. It's called etiquette. In this, in this situation, the worst thing you could do is show up late without any notice and try to explain yourself. So make sure you give an advance notice so that you don't keep them in the interview room waiting. You have sent no message and just show up. No. Such the location in advance. Most interviewers said I sh schedule days or weeks in advance. So you have time to research the location, right? Check where it is. These days you have even Google Map. Drive by that place, see it, see the route that is easier. If you're going by public transport, see what is the best way to connect. If you're going by Uber, you can even try a mock uh, travel there and see how long it takes and how you can get there. Sell yourself. One of the biggest challenges in an interview is selling yourself. Most people are comfortable with this idea, but presenting yourself accurately and positively doesn't have to feel like a sell, all right? doesn't mean that you actually brag. It doesn't mean that you show off. No. The truth is that you do have professional skills and experiences that may set you apart from other applicants. So it's acceptable and expected for you to acknowledge them to your employer. And that's where, that's where you need communication skills so that you don't come off bragging or showing off. All right. So when you prepare for job interview, make notes of your skills that relate to the role. And think of how your experiences and abilities can contribute to the overall goals of the department and company. So that's selling yourself. I, I, I know I can actually fit in this and help you do A, B, C, D because I have X, Y, Z skills here. Okay? Your answers will be somehow short. So you want to choose the most positive and relevant information to share during the interview. Do not have... Do not have long-winded answers, short to the point which are bringing out your skills and your experiences. Just know bringing out my skills and experiences, not stories. If you have metrics or statistics to show your accomplishments or growth during your previous roles, they are a great help in selling yourself during the interview. Figures help. The For example, you may have increased sales by a certain percentage or increased social media engagement in your last position. You have the figures show 20%, 10%, this number. Whatever accomplishments you have, don't be modest about sharing them during your interview. Don't be shy. Modest means shy. Your potential employer wants to know that you'll be the right fit and that you can deliver something to the company. So they need to know all the reasons that you can provide for them. Sell yourself, can see, give it a lot. Final tip, if you don't know the answer to a certain question, it's prefer perfectly acceptable to pause for a moment and simply state, let me think about that for a moment, all right? Calm down, you can be counting. A pause in communication, we say one, two, three, one, two, three, so that you can breathe and uh, don't be afraid of pauses. It doesn't mean that you look daft, no. You actually collecting yourself you're calming yourself down so the employer will appreciate you taking the time to give them a thoughtful answer do not react to questions respond do not react to questions respond be sure to provide specific examples wherever possible 
taking time to prepare for an interview will ultimately help you feel more relaxed and confident during the process. We've looked at the preparation and as you can see, it's a long process. Uh, we're going to look at uh, this next about how you can actually behave during the interview and after the interview. But preparation, I've given it this whole lecture because it's important. In life, opportunity, when it meets preparation, that's what we call luck. Luck just doesn't happen. It's where opportunity meets preparation. All the time, every day, you're supposed to be preparing. That's why we actually wake up and say, this is the new day. This is the day that the Lord has made. Do not say, I'm free. The only time you're free, when you're dead and under. All right, bye.